So as we know, the Chosen have many stalkers, many watchers. And you will see some of these individuals in real life. And they'll give you subtle signs to let you know they're watching you. They're watching your every move. And it's not like they're on your team. Like, we get the term on your team mixed up. You're either on team good or team evil. You don't have to be on our team team. Do the things we're doing. Put in the work that we're putting in. Literally being on our team. It's, it's, it's you're on team good or team evil. And I don't mess around with people that's on team evil. When I see certain things in people, okay. Checkmate. I saw everything I need to see. Very well. Keep that to myself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like I said, folks, some people will give you these subtle little signs to let you know. And they don't think that you know by giving you those little subtle signs. But you know. They think they're smart, you see. They think they're outsmarting you. They think they're gonna say these little things and they're smarter than you about it. It's like, bruh. <laughs> you think it just went past my head? You think it just went past my head? You really think that, mate? You really think that? You believe that, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what's funny about it. People never truly know how intelligent you really are as a chosen one. They don't get it. They think everything they're doing is actually fooling you. But they're fooling themselves. You're levels and levels and levels and levels and levels upon what their minds can even comprehend. You pick, on, you pick up on subtle, little, 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 little things. Very small things, very small details. And you shut that shit down like a defense on a football team. They have no idea what they're messing around with at all. I personally have no problem being overlooked. You can overlook me. We'll see. We'll see in the end. We will see. You have no chance. I'm telling you right now. You ain't got a chance in hell. You ain't got a hope in hell. We will see. Mm -hmm. We will see. It's always the little things they do. I love it. And I'm letting you know full well right now, you're fooling your damn self. You are fooling your damn self. And I know a lot of you guys watching can relate to what I'm saying because you experience these same things. You go through these same things. People acting a certain way around you, doing little dumb shit, and you're like, I know what they're doing. Like, it's easy. It's easy, but they don't know what we know. Because they just see us like, oh, yeah, he's just him. He's just a person. He's just... They don't know how much we know. We don't come off as the smartest people. In fact, we can kind of come off as like not the most intelligent person because we keep so much just to ourselves. We don't act that way. We, we're not all over the place just doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff we keep to ourselves. We stay quiet. We stay calm. We do our work. Going a better day. Because we know anyways, to express ourselves the way we'd like, it's not going to get accepted by people anyways. So we come off dumber than we are because we have to dim ourselves down around almost every single human being we come in contact with. In fact, if I was to have the conversations I want to have around certain people, it would just scare them away. So I come off a little bit dumber because of it. Because I don't express myself. I pretty much let everybody else express themselves and I'm just like, yep, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't come off like I know a whole bunch, but I know uh, far more than people will ever know. I just don't express it. I do hear a lot. Because this is my time. This is my time. And I know a lot of you as well. You have a voice. And you never felt heard in your entire life because that's the type of intelligence that you possess on the inside. There was conversations I want to have with family. There was conversations I want to have with the people around me. And it's like, they're not down for it. It just got to that certain point. Like I could conversate with people all day about stupid things. That's what it used to be in the past. Just little things. You talk to your friends about girls. You talk like, it's just the little things. And you can't. It's like you start to get smarter because you start to get a little bit older. And you start to want to express yourself and, and, and develop into a real man and, and just be who you are. And it's like it starts to get unaccepted because other people are not growing at the rapid pace that you're growing at. So it's like you start to not feel heard. Because the things you know, you can't say it. So you have to keep everything pretty much in. And guess what? In 2023, and even before this, we are privileged enough to have platforms. Do you guys understand how great it is that we can have a platform? Like, we, we definitely take it for granted. We definitely take it for granted. YouTube is amazing. Other platforms, there's some, there's some pretty good things about damn near every platform. There's some negatives as well. There's negatives with every positive, but there's more positives than negatives, 100%. And it's like, we just can't really be ourselves around that many people. Like, there's thousands and thousands and thousands all over the world who can relate. There always will be. But when it comes, like, it's such a small percentage of the entire world. That's what I'm saying. It ain't for everybody. The things we think, the things we talk about, the things we want to discuss, the things we go through, not many people experience it. Like, across the world, of course. But just from your local hometown, whatever, no. <laughs> It's rather foreign. Like, it's not relatable. What's relatable is damage. What's relatable is people in crazy situations being negative, drinking, smoking, doing dumb shit all the time. Like, that's relatable. The things we experience, not so much. Because people don't even want to go through that kind of stuff. They don't. They don't want to put up a fight. They don't want to go to war. They don't. They're just going to let life be what it is. I'm just going to enjoy my life. YOLO. Drink some alcohol. Guess what? I'll drink some water. I'm good. <clears throat> but you guys get the point. You can tell with certain people, bro, that are watching you by the way they speak to you. And not everybody that watches you is a bad thing, but some people, bro, like, they really have negative intentions the way they be coming up to you and saying certain things and giving you certain looks. Chosen ones always have these gang-stalking type of individuals. It's never going to go away. Never. Bro, there, there's people that be looking at you real funny. Real funny. And it's like, what? What now? You can just tell. That's what I'm saying, bro. We pick, we, we, we pick up on small, small, small little things that people don't even know we do. We just don't express it. It's not like we see something. It's like, we're just going to call them out for, it. oh, you're a hater. And like, no, save it. I just say that I know what's going on. I know the situation. I don't have to say anything about it. Unless it gets to that point. If they want to come on strong or something like this, then of course. 
but just the little things you notice, it's not worth your breath. Why would you like, it's just a waste of energy. It's just going to cause more tension, negativity and all this kind of stuff. But we acknowledge it. We know what's happening. We know the, by the questions people are asking us, their real intentions. Like we're not stupid. I've been through this stuff far too much. A lot of it has to do with experience as well. But we know what they're doing. And I'm telling you, these gang stalking type of individuals want to find out every little thing about you. Everything. They are weird. They're weird people that can't get a grip on reality of their own self. So they're going to target you. They're going to come for you. They're going to stalk you. They're going to find out things about you to take the focus off of them. Because they want to try their hardest to make you look bad. Like, they put in all that time and energy just to try to find something to make you look bad. That goes to show <laughs> that you're not bad. Because they're literally trying so hard. A real person that's a bad apple. There's instant things. It's like, yes, yes, yes. Which you, not so much. Because they're trying and bobbing and weaving. And they're just throwing papers. Trying to find information. Just <laughs> like they're, they're absolutely crazy. And that's why they watch you so much. It's like they know you're great deep down inside of their corpses. They don't want that to be the narrative, though. They don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit that you have excellence inside of yourself. So they're trying hard and scrounging, just trying to find some type of information or some secret page with answers to find out that you're bad, but they're, they're, they can search and do all they want. Nothing, nothing they ever do is going to do anything. But the point is, they're watching. And you can tell. And this is a relatable topic. This is what we have to go through, bro. And these people are insane. We have to deal with this type of bullshit. And it's like... <laughs> they don't want to get to know us. They don't want to get to know us. They don't want to talk to us. Because they know that's the real deal. That's the real shit. They want to try to find a different narrative. They're like... They're like scoundrels. They're like going crazy. Trying their hardest to find a different narrative than the one that is being played out that's actually happening in real life for yourself. They're trying to find dirt on you. They're trying to do some crazy shit, bro. There are some lunatics in this world. There's people on YouTube that stalk me. There's, there's people coming everywhere, bro. In real life, on YouTube, on social media, just everywhere. There's people just going crazy and it's like you see some of the things that happen and it's just like <laughs> what is going on how do these people even come up with these things how could that even enter your mind like if you were just to stop and look at these people They wouldn't know what to do. All you would have to do is just sit there and look at them. The ones that are saying the most ridiculous stuff, they would shit their jocks. Because they know they're full of it. Some people say the most ridiculous things and it's like, what is going on? They don't know who you are. They make up this false narrative about you. Bro, your gang stalking type of individual people that come after you. That's their motive towards you. That's their motive. And it's like you know what they're doing. <laughs> You're just quiet about it. But you know who the real enemies are. Because you can see it. You can feel it. There's nothing they can say to act nice around you to, to hide it. You can see it. 
They can't hide it. They can't hide from you. It's in plain sight. You can see it. And they go to extreme lengths. This is what gang stalkers are, bro. They are stalking your life. Makes sense, doesn't it? They go to extreme lengths. Extreme. They go to the extreme. They're not just a local hater where they might see you and they just don't like you and it's like, whatever. Keep out of my business, whatever. These people are next level, jealous, envious people. Like next level. You could be the next God on earth. The second coming of Jesus Christ. They'll find something to throw on you. Some type of dirt. They're, they're going to try and search and find and go through their papers and files and just, they're just going crazy. Trying to find dirt to throw on you. It's what they do. It's what you do. Because you're all filthy animals. You're all absolutely nuts. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's their life. That's their life. They put in all that time and energy just to try to get something on you because it's because if they could, if they could find that one thing and just use it against you, <sighs> it's going to relieve them. Oh, yeah, I feel accomplished now. I feel like I've done what I should have done. That's their motive. That's how crazy they are. You could be the next coming of Jesus Christ. And they're going to try to come and find something to put on you. It don't matter how much good you do. It don't matter. Like I said, think about it, guys. There's a reason they're going to extreme lengths. Because you're not a bad person. You don't break the law. You don't do bad things. You don't do people dirty. You stay in your lane and you do what you should be doing. These evil gang stalking type of individuals are coming for you because of it. They want to disrupt it. They are the real bad apples. But you make them feel that way and that's why they're trying to come at you to try to get something on you. But you're doing God's work. Staying in your lane. Living a God-purposed life. A purpose-driven life. Having the purpose that God has given you. Which you didn't even choose yourself. It's what God has chose for you. And they can sense it. And that's what they hate so much. That's why they come for you and, and they come gunning so hard. Going to extreme lengths. And if you're a chosen one, you can easily see these things unravel, unfold. And don't give these people your time. Don't explain yourself. You're going to see it happen. And it is what it is. Unless they come at you, then yeah, of course. But if it's the little things and they're trying to hide it and it's just see what they are and just just look at them as a clown and just kind of shake your head subtly and just clown. Absolute clown. What do you want me to do? Like just beat the shit out of you and go to jail? No, I'm not going to do that either. You'd love that. No. The best thing you can do is just get away from these people. Because if you were like, there's a party that probably wants to just completely destroy them. But if you do that, you get in serious trouble. You beat a human up, you're going, you're probably going to jail. And they, bro, if they could have that on you, they'll take it a mile. They'll take it a million miles. They'll take it a hundred mile away. And they're going to try to lock you up. You have to be careful of certain people. People can set you up. 
People can absolutely set you up. I've been set up before. And guess what I've done? I reversed it. I got the person that tried to get me twice as bad. Because that's what happens. People think they're smart by setting you up. <laughs> you set up an intelligent person. Someone who knows how to play chess. You're getting destroyed, buddy. You're getting destroyed. You could probably set up some idiotic person out there, which sometimes us chosen ones can come off as like not idiotic, but just like not the smartest because we keep so much inside. We don't express ourselves because it's too much for people's minds to comprehend. They're not on that level of communication. So we don't communicate that way. We just kind of let people talk and answer what they're saying, answer and answer and answer. But what, what, what we say, it's just too much. So we don't say it. Okay. Yeah. Cool, buddy. Listen to what you're saying, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh huh. My time to talk? No, it's not. Because you can't, you can't even comprehend what I'm about to say. You cannot even comprehend about what I'm about to say. So I'm not gonna bother. I'll just listen to what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you believe yourself so smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We cannot even express ourselves, bro. But we can on our platform, which is a miracle. A literal miracle. And that's a beautiful thing about it. We can stand in the face of adversity and express ourselves. Having people against us, have the gang stalkers watching, we don't care because this is our time to shine. This is our time to say it like it is. And even the better you continue to get these people to be watching, bro, and it's like they might start to pick up on kind of, <laughs> yeah, this guy's not to be messed with. Yeah, we probably, yeah. 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 So. This is how she goes. Jealous ones will be watched, will be stalked, will be preyed on. You just gotta play it smart. You're like a kingpin. What anybody else is trying to do, you already see it coming. You're protected. They ain't got nothing on you. <laughs>